Hey there, my little tiddly wink. Welcome to Reading Journey. I'm Journey, and I'm doing a reading for whoever may need it. If you're new, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. So glad to have you. So let's take a look here, sweetheart. My little tiddly wink. What you got going on? Hmm. Okay, somebody here is not a positive person. Somebody's dealing with somebody who is not kind, who's not loving, who treats people very badly. Okay. So why are they showing up in your reading today? Let's take a look what's going on with this person. Why are they doing this? What's going on here? Okay. So somebody's treating you or somebody around them badly because they feel left out in the cold financially they feel like they are drained that they took a hit or took a loss here all right so they feel like there's no protection there's no God, there's no angels, there's nobody that cares about me. Um, this person is a trickster. It could be a fire sign, male, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They could be a woman as well. But somebody's taking on an energy that is very uh, fake. I feel like it's fake. There's something going on with this person. I feel like this person is also ill. That is why they're also feeling judged and not loved. They're going through something right now. Tell me more about this person. What's going on with them? Oh, yeah. Nine of Swords here. Somebody took a major. Somebody's poor now. They're having a major tower moment. I feel like the universe is is dealing with them and and or they feel like they are being judged by the universe. But I do feel like it's not that the universe is judging them. It's just the universe is is um it's clearing itself, it's cleansing, it's purging itself. Yeah, I feel like this person did some type of underhanded tactics. For some of you, it was magic, it was dark energy that they were using and sending for others of you somebody was doing something with illusions making telling lies making things look like um just doing bad things bad things hidden things dark things against someone against you yeah six of swords wants to reverse so they want out of this trouble but this card says trouble ahead. So they want out of this. They're already in the trouble. Yeah, there's somebody I'm also feeling suffering. Somebody is struggling. There could also be a queen of swords going through this as well with them. Yeah, these two people have been working with the devil or they were doing some devilish tactics. But definitely some of you, there's magic involved here and they were using de demonic entities to do it. They were. Actually, I'm going to keep these guys all together because these guys, these actually go together, these two. There's a man and a woman here for sure that was doing something underhanded. Could be an air sign woman or air, air sign male or fire sign woman or fire sign male. But more so, I don't really feel that. I'll get you some energies at the end. I'll get you some identifiers. I feel more so like they took on energy that was careless, immature, um, not balanced to communicate in a way that was ineffective, to communicate in a way that was negative, um, to protect something that they wanted. They placed a judgment, looks like, on you or them. Um, yeah, on you. 
there's a certain outcome that they wanted, a successful outcome, but it was not based on facts, truth, honesty. These were lies. These were lies. What do they do? Yeah, scamming. Could have something to do with a business as well, someone's business. But there was a scam here. They were working with untrustworthy people to do something and it's against you. And now they are in a dark place. They're very upset. They're treating people badly because of the way that the, because of what they're going through. So instead of them improving and, and, and submitting themselves to a higher power or to authority, you know what I mean? Or saying sorry, they're choosing to continue to do something underhanded. They're trying to still, they're trying to have some type of out, successful outcome financially. But they only created more struggle for themselves. One more, please. Yeah, they were really focused on this. There's something about a home is involved and they were trying to have like, um, they were trying to like live the high life, the rich life off of somebody else. Yeah, trying to live the rich life off of somebody else. you're being viewed as somebody who's happy who loves life who tries new things who's having a new beginning this is how they're seeing you this is you energetically whether you believe it or not energetically you are that what i just described they see you you're you also are, are somebody who can heal people or make people feel better or relieve some pain here this is how you're being viewed as well. They're viewing you as somebody who can heal their pain, that can rescue them out of this situation. Hmm. I feel like I want to pick this up too. Yeah, they see you as jovial, but they also view you as a joke though. That's what I don't get. They view you as a joke. So they don't really respect you. There's something you have. What do they have that they want? That's what this is. Sorry for that loud noise, y'all. That lady need to get her muffler fixed. It's been months and I don't think she can afford it. What are these jokers after? What are they, what are they after? Mm-hmm. Just what I figured money they're after some financial gain here because they see you as a joke but yet they see you as somebody who who can start new things who tries new things almost foolish in a sense but it actually is foolish to the uh it's not foolish to the wise or the so-called wise It actually makes a lot of sense to the universe. If you understood how the universe works, 
works. This would make a whole lot of sense, but it doesn't make sense to them because they are only after whatever these people were after is greed, money. They do things in a shicey, underhanded way. And because they apparently they're having failure is what I'm picking up here. That's why they're treating people so badly. Like people don't even want to be around them. This person, they're in their lowest, lowest vibration. All right, so yeah, you're a wounded warrior. You're coming out of this. You've been tested. You're coming out of a burden in which I feel these folks here created for you. And you're manifesting your dreams, just like this card says. You're going towards your future. You manifested your dreams. You're going after success here. And that's what you're going to get. That's what your future entails. For many of you, something's happening around this the next solar eclipse. Something's getting completely eclipsed out of your life and bringing in peace and balance. Yeah, it's destined for you to happen this way. Some of you, this may be a court case that comes to rest as well. But there's definitely something sneaky and underhanded that somebody did here. It's going to come to the open. There may even be like something where... What do they call that? Your job when they have like a meeting where you have to like, it's almost like a, a it's not, for lack of better words, it's like a court hearing, but it isn't. It's with the job. So this could be like maybe a grievance or something or something's going on here, but you're, and everything's going to balance out in your favor because what they did was wrong. It was sneaky and underhanded. It was just wrong. Let's see what's involved. So we got D, first, last, middle, initial. I also, it flipped over, so it could be C as well, first, last, middle, initial. This is Sagittarius involved. Europe is here. V, first, last, middle, initial. There's a Libra involved. S, first, last, middle, initial. Florida's here. There's a low vibrational Capricorn that did something against you. Virginia's here. Somebody spiritual is involved. New Hampshire is here. Somebody from Hawaii, Connecticut. There's a black car involved. Angels are watching. Somebody thick is involved. Somebody with a goatee is involved. Somebody married is involved. There's a Scorpio involved. New Mexico, California, Maine, Earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. W, first last middle initial, a Pisces. A Jewish person involved, Britain. Michigan, North Carolina, Z first last middle initial, Cancer, something took place on a new moon in Britain, somebody with piercings, oops, a Taurus, and just trust, trust in the divine, trust what's yours is for you, and if you want to make sure the reading resonates that this is your reading, you can re reach me for a um, same day chat, that information is in the description box below. Anything else you want to know about me is in that description box below. How to donate, how to email me, how to, uh, everything you want to know. TikTok, all that. Other places you can find me, the Patreon channel for more readings that I do over there. And yeah, thank y'all so much. Peace, love, and harmony. Namaste.